27 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Jerusalem is ratcheting up its efforts to diminish the impact of the coronavirus throughout the Jewish state. Six Israelis that were under quarantine for 29 days in the Israeli Sheba Medical Center after testing positive for the coronavirus were finally released last night completely healthy. A ceasefire is seemingly holding in Syria's northwestern Idlib region after Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin reached a joint arrangement for the war-torn country. Jerusalem is ratcheting up its efforts to diminish the impact of the coronavirus throughout the Jewish state. After announcing a series of new measures for the public to adhere to a day prior, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu chaired a senior ministerial meeting that focused on preparations for dealing with the economic implications of the contagion with the participation of the finance, industry and economy ministers, as well as the governor of the Bank of Israel and the director generals of Jerusalem's National Security Council, among other senior officials. The Israeli leader continued by declaring a first step to assure that the country's economy would withstand the government's health-related measures, which include limitations on travel and crowded conventions, among other actions that may have consequential implications on the Israeli economy. לתפקוד המשק. הצעד הבא יהיה שככל שהתפתח המשבר, משרד האוצר בתיאום בנק ישראל יציע כלים לסיוע תזרימי לעסקים שנקלעו למצוקה בעקבות המשבר. כאמור, אני חושב שאנחנו מטפלים במשבר הזה גם מבחינה בריאותית וגם מבחינה כלכלית בצד הטוב ביותר, אבל אין זה אומר שאין בפנינו אתגרים גדולים. Finance Minister Moshe Kahlon, for his part, underscored the main goal for his ministry's efforts to assure the perseverance of the Israeli economy by securing operational continuity regardless of the measures that the government will be forced to impose. בתפקוד, גם לעסקים הקטנים, הבינויים והגדולים, כדי לשמור על רצף תפקודי, מה שנקרא. ואני מאמין שגם המגזר העסקי וגם בזכות זה מה שציינת, שאנחנו נכנסים למשבר הזה עם משק חזק, עם משק איתן, עם משק יציב, יעזור לנו בעזרת השם לצלוח את זה. In spite of those statements, which seemingly project rising concerns in Jerusalem over a probable outbreak of the coronavirus, the governor of the Bank of Israel highlighted that the Israeli economy remains intact. I want to say that the market financial system is not enough. There are no signs of the loss of the financial system and the loss of the financial system. The Bank of Israel continues to make the investments in a short way. ועומד בקשר הדוק עם הגורמים הרלוונטיים בממשלה, בפרט משרד האוצר ומערכת הכלכלית והפיננסית. Turning to the West Bank city of Ramallah, where Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Muhammad Shtaye declared a state of emergency across the so-called Palestinian territories after a number of Palestinian residents of the city of Bethlehem were reportedly infected. اعلان حالة الطوارئ في جميع الأراضي الفلسطينية لمواجهة خطر فيروس الكورونا ومنع تفشيه تتولى جهات الاختصاص اتخاذ جميع الإجراءات اللازمة لمواجهة المخاطر الناتجة عن فيروس كورونا وحماية الصحة العامة وتحقيق الأمن والاستقرار تكون حالة الطوارئ هذه لمدة ثلاثين يوما the announcement came after authorities identified seven positive cases, all of whom are Palestinian employees of Bethlehem's Angel Hotel. وقد قمنا من دو ساعات الصباح باتخاذ الإجراءات اللازمة وأصدرنا التعميم بالتوصيات للمواطنين بشأن التعامل مع الوضع الطارئ في محافظتي بيت لحم وأريحة والأغوار. 
According to authorities, the seven Palestinians were probably infected when a group of Greek pilgrims who visited both Egypt and the religious sites in both Jerusalem and Bethlehem stayed at the Angel Hotel. This was confirmed by Greek Health Minister Tsotiris Tsiodras, who further warned that in the coming weeks, authorities expect a significant rise in the number of cases of the virus in Greece, as well as in the rest of the world. In light of the unfortunate spread of the contagion in the West Bank city of Bethlehem, Israeli Defense Minister Naftali Bennett gave instructions last night to impose a closure on the city until further notice in order to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. As part of the closure, Israeli and Palestinian traffic has been barred from entering and exiting Bethlehem. Turning now to a more joyous segment related to the coronavirus, six Israelis that were under quarantine for 29 days in the Israeli Sheba Medical Center after testing positive for the coronavirus were finally released last night completely healthy. I'm very excited to be out after 29 days. It was uh, difficult days, but uh, we laughed a lot and we were very optimistic. And it's finished. And we are out and healthy. That's the point. According to Professor Elchanan Baron, the director of the Israel Center for Disaster Medicine and Humanitarian Response at the Sheba Medical Center, the vacated isolation facility will now be prepared for the next stage to tackle a worst-case scenario. The, the patients who are left now are patients who are positive, have tested positive to the virus. We are now going to prepare the, the facility for the next stage, which is the possibility of accepting a large number of patients testing positive, and some of them may be more significantly ill and may require much more intensive treatment than these people require. To help you remain informed on the latest, TV7 Israel News has published a direct link to the guidelines of the Israeli Health Ministry in the English language on the front page of our website at www.tv7israelnews.com. And I further encourage you to pray for this situation, as well as for those that have been infected or are under quarantine. Turning now to the situation in Israel's northern neighbor Syria, where a ceasefire is seemingly holding in the country's northwestern Idlib region after Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin reached an arrangement that secures a so-called security corridor that will stretch separately six kilometers north and south of the strategic M4 highway. Но каждый раз в критические моменты, опираясь на достигнутый высокий уровень двусторонних отношений, нам до сих пор удавалось находить точки соприкосновения по возникшим спорным моментам, выходить на приемлемые решения. Так произошло и в этот раз. Yani tam gece yarısı itibariyle ateşkes yürürlüğe girecektir. Ateşkesin kalıcı hale getirilmesi için gereken çalışmalar hızla ve etkin bir şekilde yürütülecektir. Amacımız bölgedeki insani krizin daha da kötüye gitmesini önlemektir. İhtiyaç sahibi tüm Suriyelilere ön şartsız ve ayrım gözetilmeksizin yardım sağlanması için well, a senior Turkish source who is familiar with the details of the arrangement highlighted to TV7 that the Ankara-Moscow agreement was formulated in good faith, President Erdogan did not shy away from leveling a threat to the leadership of Damascus. Türkiye bu süreçte rejimin yapabileceği her türlü saldırıya tüm gücüyle ve tüm sahada cevap verme hakkını saklı tutacaktır. Speaking to the Russian media in Damascus, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad said his country will abide by the deal while voicing hope of ultimately normalizing relations with Syria's northern neighbor, Turkey. Несмотря на турецкую агрессию, нашей общей с Россией целью было и остается свернуть Турцию с того пути, которым она идет сейчас. С пути поддержки террористов и вернуть отношения в нормальное русло. Потому что и для нас, сирийцев, и для вас, 
Турция — соседняя страна. И вполне естественно было бы иметь мирные отношения с соседним государством. И если ваш вопрос «возможно ли?», конечно, возможно. Но мы не сможем прийти к такому результату, если Эрдоган поддерживает террористов. Нужно отказаться от поддержки терроризма. Тогда все вернется на круги своя. Потому что между народами Сирии и Турции нет вражды. Meanwhile, Syrian residents of Damascus voiced support of the ceasefire, but emphasized the importance of a Turkish withdrawal from the Syrian territory. Thank you for watching us. Keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem as well as the peace and salvation of Israel. I'm Jonathan Hassan. Have a Erev Tov and Shabbat Shalom. And we will see you again on Monday at the same time.